it is Cleveland. Cleveland, like other cities, including Brooklyn, wants its place in the sun. But unfortunately, they're usually in a fog. No wonder rain is welcome here. That's one way to clear the air. These Clevelanders will stop at nothing to make a big splash. Who can figure these people? Either they're in a fog or they're all wet. Cleveland, the big noise in Ohio, was founded by General Moses Cleveland, who is not to be confused with President Cleveland. In 1796, he pitched camp on the wild shores of Lake Erie. So today, Cleveland is where it is because of a wild pitch. Because of a few trees, they call themselves the Forest City. They could be right. From what I see of it, they're still not out of the woods. Statistics say that half the population of the United States, 500 miles of Cleveland, and the other half, they wouldn't be seen within a thousand miles of it. Cleveland claims that its Euclid Avenue is the longest street in the world. I got news for them. Euclid Avenue is so dull, it only seems longer. Cleveland does a lot of bragging about its industries and its progress. In 1940, Cleveland was the sixth largest city in the United States. Today, after 15 booming years, it's down to the seventh place. That's progress. At that rate, they'll wind up in a cellar. All Clevelanders seem to be museum happy. Whatever they get their hands on, they build a museum around it. If you're healthy in Cleveland, they think you belong in a museum. Clevelanders are great people for walking. Seeing their buses, I can understand why. But ask them where they're walking through, they don't know. They're so used to the fog that when the sun comes out, they're still in the fog. They say the people who live here in beautiful Cleveland Heights never get homesick. And no wonder. Who could get sick of these homes? Shaker Heights is where the cocktail set holds forth, which is between a pint and a fifth. Shaker Heights is so swanky that no one is allowed to build a house they can afford. You can see by this section, Cleveland has a lot of civic pride. You can be sure the people who live around here would never think of moving to Shaker Heights. In fact, they can't even afford to think about it. But Cleveland isn't entirely a one-horse town, and this will prove it. One of the big social events of the year is their annual three-day horse ride. Imagine what Rockefeller would say about this. For him, his whole life was gasoline, and his own hometown where he got his start, they glorified a horse. They seem to have run out of horses. I guess they won't mind if a donkey joins them. This donkey might have other plans, but I'll soon change that. A true Brooklynite never gives up. You can be sure this donkey knows he's met his equal. There's no place to go in Cleveland. They get Francis the Mule to talk. I can't even get this donkey to walk. He says I need a riding habit. Is he kidding? Who needs a habit like that? Cleveland is one town that don't like to talk about its nightlife. After seeing it, I don't blame them. 
Their idea of nightlife is to turn on a few lights. This is one of the town's hot spots. They don't have air conditioning. Whatever Spiel is to Brooklyn, that big barn is to Cleveland. They got everything in there. Bases, grandstands, dugouts, and infield and outfield. All they need now is a ball team. How do you like that? Indians clinch pennant. They must be playing a dodger. Who else could win in a National League? Hey, I gotta get in somehow. But there's Abbott and Costello. They look like true Brooklynites. Maybe they get an extra ticket for a pal. I guess they didn't recognize me. I would never dare face the people in Brooklyn without bringing home a souvenir or something. Imagine, the game's a total sellout. Why don't I just try to walk in? Now I know why. Maybe I can work my way in. Those guys must have a strong union. Fred, that looks like an easy racket. Me. After all, if I knew how to write, I could be a reporter, too. Sorry, pal, I thought of it first. Never underestimate the power of a Brooklynite. Of those characters. Could they imagine the Dodgers could play without me? These people don't look like Dodger fans. Ah, but Vegas can't be choosers. It takes only one Brooklynite to make a cheering section. What's the matter with you? Let's see the ball game. What's wrong with these people, anyhow? Who are they rooting for? They must be in the wrong yeah, ballpark. Yeah, I'm out. 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 I'm out.